All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start saying all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah Hakodash. I want to say double honor to the apostles at Elders Great Millstone. Peace and mercy be unto the Lord's elect out there teaching the word of truth, sincerity, and making everybody's living sacrifice for our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I'm the brother Amar from the branch of GMS Cleveland. Come back, I'll shoot another video. Um, I just want to share something, man. I'm going to make this, you know, real brief. I actually gotta uh you know do something real quick. But I'm gonna make it brief. Um something real spiritual just happened, you know what I'm saying, today. It was a, a woman uh I on, on the bus, you know what I'm saying, and uh, I got on the bus and uh she out of nowhere, man, she randomly got to talking to me, man. Uh and then she 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 referenced and then not only referenced but she she quoted um a revelation of seven chapters. She she quoted some of the verses out of there, man. You know what I mean? And like I said, and like, it was it was random, man. And then she also said, like, because, you know what I mean? She was an Israelite. I got to point that out. You know what I'm saying? She said God speaks to her. You know what I'm saying? And uh, she brought out some other, you know, spiritual points, too. But I just wanted to highlight those things, man. And I can I can, I can can tell, like, it, it was the Lord wanted me to hear that, man. But um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get this scripture real quick, and I'm going to grab that Revelation 7 chapter, man. Because to me, that was... um. That 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 just let me know, you know what I'm saying? Even even more so the times that we that we living in, man. Out of out of all scriptures, out of all verses, out of all chapters, she happened to quote the Revelation, the seventh chapter. And brothers that that you know that, that understand the scriptures, we know we know what that goes into. We know what time it is, man. But without further ado, man, um, I'll get it. Uh, this is Revelation. I mean, this is jo Joel chapter two, um, verse. Let me see, uh, 28, it says, and it shall come to pass, uh, afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall pro shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, man, you know what I'm saying, so the Lord pouring out his spirit upon all flesh, man, is exactly, you know what I'm saying, what it says, man, it, like, it was, you know, basically, men and women, not only just from you know our nation, man, but you know from you know from you know other nations as well, man. That was gonna start to speak about certain things that was gonna happen in the end times, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you got you got these you know, so-called whistleblowers, and then the Lord, you know, the Lord just putting His Spirit upon um you know these heathen nations as well to speak on uh, particular things that's happening in the Scriptures, man. Because that happened too in the Book of Numbers. Well, um, forget that. Uh, I don't forget what it was a Moabite, Ammonite, one of them, but the um. Bay, uh, Baylick or one of those two. I, I, I can't, I never, I can't never remember, uh, the other name, but, uh, brothers know what I'm talking about, man. The Lord put the spirit upon them to prophesy. I believe it's Numbers 23rd chapter, but, uh, you know, I mean, what, uh, you know, basically just, I was just thinking about this, man. It's like, it's like the Lord is really putting the spirit upon all flesh, man. You know what I'm saying? To the point where people are speaking about these things that are written in the scriptures and people are starting to realize what time we're in. So back in Joel chapter 2 and 28, and it shall come to pass that afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons, your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Man, yeah, you got brothers, uh, children, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, you know, bringing out particular things. Hell, uh, the brother, uh, elder brother Amawan, Amawan Kabar from the main camp, he, uh, I think he put a video up saying, uh, saying something about my, um, my daughter just prophesied or something to that effect. So yeah, man, the Lord is the Lord is you know what I mean. He's he, he's putting that 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 energy out there, man, that vibration. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days, while I pour out my spirit, man. And so yeah, like I said, just going into this quick account that happened, I just wanted to share it, man. Um, I'm gonna get uh that seven that Revelation seven chapter in a minute. I'm close it out, but yeah, man, it, it was it was it was something that was uplifting. You know what I'm saying? And just like. You know, you get those little subtle things and uh, that happens in the spirit, man. Where you, you know, you know, you <laughs> like when you brother see one four four, man. You know, it's just like damn, you, know, you get wooed sometimes. Um, uh, it's a, a Proverbs one and twenty three. It says, "Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you, man." Yeah, you know saying obviously that's talking, you know, speaking first and foremost to the men. Um, I mean, of our nation, the elect. Men of our nation, you know what I'm saying? The, 
you know, uh, and you know, and, and then you know, also it also it goes into you know, what I'm saying uh, certain women, so certain women was did not not saying they're gonna go out there and prophesy on the highways and byways because that's off. Women are, women aren't supposed to do that, but they will. The Lord will give them certain visions and certain things to uh, say, uh, and things of that nature, man. You know what I'm saying? You know they have certain visions and. You know what I'm saying? They, or they might, you know, they might even read their scriptures and the Lord might give them a little, you know, certain gems within the scriptures, man. But nonetheless, man, the Lord is pouring out the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? We, we you know, we, we close, man. We got to be close, man. Because this is the, this is the script, the chapter that she brought out out of all chapters. And it, like I said, it, 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 was, it was the spirit, bro. It was the spirit, man. Um, this is Revelation 7. And one, and after and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. It says that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And that wind is talking about the nuclear, nuclear wind, that destruction. All right, that will happen in the very, very near future by those ICBMs, man. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice. The four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads, man. And that's that Tawa. That's that Tawa, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that 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 seal, that exempt the exemption from judgment, man. That's that seal, man. That, that so the Lord is waiting. So uh, he get to so all the let get sealed. And like the apostle Lord said, he believes. Uh, you know, uh, we, we that he, you know, that that basically we're upon that time, you know what I'm saying? So, and we got to be close, man, because shit is happening at an all time high, man. It says, and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel, man. And that 144 is basically the governing body of um uh, of the elect, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, as, as you know, the one for four is the men. You know what I'm saying? Um, it says, uh, and then when you keep reading through, you know what I'm saying, five, six, and verse seven and eight, you know what I'm saying? It, it goes into it, man. You know what I'm saying? It, on which tribes were sealed. You know what I'm saying? So it's 12,000 of each tribe, which makes up one for four, 144,000, which are all men. You know what I'm saying? And then you have the, uh, you know, obviously the one, the one third is included. You know what I'm saying? Which would like be like the women. Well, the 144 is part of the one third, should I say? You know what I'm saying? They're, you know, you know, they're not separate. The, the the 144 is a part of the one third. You know what I'm saying? Which the one third is the mixed multitudes, um, like the men, women, and children and shit. That that's what I mean by the mixed multitude. Um, or the uh, uh yeah. or the great, or the great number. But uh, anyway, it's like you. It says after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude. Yeah, this great multitude, not the mixed multitude. It's like I said, mixed multitude. The great multitude. After this, I beheld and lo, a great, a great multitude which no man can number, of all of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and, and palms in their hands. And this and this great multitude is talking about the elect that looks. You know what I'm saying even men, women, and children. I mean the, the women and children. Of the prophets, and then you have the um, uh, what they call it, uh, like you know, the, the, the speckled bird that's amongst the other um. Uh, I mean, uh, when, when it's talking about the um, uh, yeah, the, 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 of all kindreds and nations, kindreds, kindreds, of all the nations and kindreds and people and tongues, that that right there, that's talking about the speckled bird. You know, what I'm saying the great multitude is men. I mean, uh, the women and children of the uh, of the prophets, but it says uh, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues. Stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with, with white robes and palms in their hands, and that palms represents victory, and the white robes is going into um, you know, obviously purity, being pure. You know what I'm saying? But this is literal as well, cause we're the, the elect are going to have those uh pure, they're going to have them, they're going to have them white robes on, getting crowned. You know what I'm saying? Um, it says in crowd with a loud voice saying, "Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and upon the Lamb." <laughs> It says, uh, and all the angels. <clears throat> I mean, that's basically it, man. You know what I'm saying I ain't gonna uh, keep going. Hold on. Uh, it's like, yeah. Real quick. 
It's lucky. Had to, um, <laughs> had to duck off. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Headed to the work spot. But, um, yeah, man, I mean, that's, that's, that's basically it, man. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just wanted to share that uh, with, uh, with brothers. Yeah, man. Like I said, it was, it was real spiritual, man. But, hey, we almost out of here, man. I thought I'm saying, shut up, man.